Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and I figure it'd be time to do a update on OnLive because of the fact that uh, OnLive is now a year old officially. So uh, here's all these people playing their games, you know, all kinds of various games. You know, they uh, apparently have a hundred games now on OnLive. Uh, the service originally launched with 19, so that's quite a lot compared to uh, when I originally signed up for the service. They didn't have very many games at all, but you know, you can see there's quite a few, you know, people playing different games out there. You know, it's not like everybody's just playing one or two of the same games or whatever. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick on another clip here um, the game selection. Um, now the game selection, you know, some of these of course are games that aren't released yet, but for the most part they're all there, you know, except for the few listed at the top of the pre-orders. But anyways, um, they changed the format a little bit, you know, on the left side of some of them you might notice it says sale or play pack or coming soon, you know, of course those are special designators. Um, really I still like the interface of this, the only problem I have with it is that, um, now that they have a hundred games, you know, slipping through the games can be pretty tedious, even with the sorting features. Uh, hopefully they, you know, change the UI a little bit to enhance that experience. That's what I'm hoping on, at least. So, any, so because it is the one year anniversary, they're doing a special promotion. As you can see, spend $10 or more and get a 100% off game coupon. I've already spent my 10 bucks. I bought uh, Ghostbusters. And um, depending on what they do with the code, because the code's sent out on Saturday, um, I'm either going to pick up Red Faction Armageddon, or if it lasts long enough, Duke Nukem Forever. Um, so basically, I'm paying 20 bucks to get a game that costs 50 bucks. And also a twenty dollar game, so you can't beat that anywhere. Where else can you buy Duke Nukem Forever for twenty bucks? You know, um, where else? Uh, oh, you know what? Speaking of sales and such, um, you know, I also bought Split Second, which was twenty bucks, but it came with a fifty percent off coupon through a separate promotion. And so, whatever game I used a hundred percent on, I'm going to use the fifty percent on the other. So, you know, basically for Sixty-five dollars. I'm getting four games, two of which are fifty-dollar titles. Um, split second, to me, is good enough as it is. Anyways, you know, I love this game. I'm surprised I didn't play it or sooner. And um, you know, I'm just really surprised that they are doing this kind of sale. You know, of course, they're still pretty small fry. This is kind of their little deal, trying to get people to sign up. And um, you know, I mean, it's great for people like me, but, you know, I think you guys should check it out. You know, try the service out, and, hey, if you if it works good for you, hop on the, um, hop on board one of those deals, you know. Um, examples of other sales I've gotten. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, I've got it for twelve fifty, from a 75% off sale. Um, actually, most of these games I got for free. I got free ones like uh, Splinter Cell and Metro 2033, um, Amnesia, you know, I think Batman was free, you know, I had all kinds of, you know, really good deals from this service, and, you know, as you see, they've added achievements, um, and not all games support it, but pretty much a lot of games do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you a split second, because the company has really started to do a better effort on designing the games for online. Um, you know, Disney Interactive, you don't really think of them as like a top tier studio. They don't really make a lot of games, you know. <laughs> Split Second's probably their most successful game that isn't based on a movie. And heck, they might be more successful than their movie based games. I don't know for sure. But um, as you'll see in a moment, uh, they really did a good job designing this for online. A lot of the early online games seem to miss features or, you know, not really focus well on... I'm trying to think here. Uh, they didn't really focus well on designing the 
game for this experience. Now at the bottom you can see it has XBA, which I'm sure is the same as it is on Xbox. The difference is the colors are in black and orange, which is the on-life setup. As a matter of fact, they even show a picture of the on-life controller right there. Um, it shows that you know developers are starting to pay more attention now to on-life. They're actually making little minor tweaks like that for the port of on-life. You know that is designed for that service. In today's and exciting so, episode, fiery obstacles the service, will rain um, from above. You know, I just figured I'd do this video because I did the review like a, almost a year ago, and I talked about the service and the potential of it and everything like that. And ultimately, you know, I liked it, but it did have some way to come along. And they've, you know, released numerous features since then. You know, they have voice chat. Um, which not it's not just for regular games, you know, it's not like Xbox or PSN or whatever where you can just voice chat with people that you're in the game with or you can have like a party in Xbox. Um, and online, you know, since you have the arena feature where people can watch your game, you can actually talk to spectators or you can talk to someone's playing the game while you're in the arena. So that really um, adds a good level of interactivity, especially if someone wants to do like a live stream let's play or something like that. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to be doing one myself pretty soon. I, you know, not exactly sure when, but I'm going to play a terrible little game called uh, Battle of Los Angeles from start to finish. And whenever I decide I'm going to do it, I'm going to invite you guys to come and watch and chat with me and everything while we're doing that. You know, have fun with it. But, um, you know, just let me know what you guys think, you know, if you're interested in and see what OnLive's all about, uh, go to OnLive.com and sign up. It's free to sign up. Um, you don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up for it. Um, so, you know, I definitely would recommend checking it out. Uh, and in addition to this, OnLive's also got the Play Pack, which, you know, if you do sign up for that, it's like $9.99 a month. You get like a free month trial, though. Uh, they got about 60 games right now on the OnLive Play Pack service. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't know if they've already launched it or if it's coming soon, but Homefront, uh, just the multiplayer of it though, not the full game. The multiplayer of Homefront is going to be part of OnLive and its play pack, you know. So if you're not interested in the single player, you only want to see what the multiplayer is like for Homefront, well, you can either pay $50, $60 for the game on a console or you can sign up for the play pack, free month trial, and you can play the multiplayer, you know, and see how it is. Just saying. So I'm gonna let this go now. I'm just gonna let the race finish. I'm gonna speed the race up though. So I don't wanna make the video too long. Uh, you just guys just tell me what you think and with that guys, down Phoenix out.